Most people in America are familiar with when there's a change. For example, the local Applebee's took out its beautiful bushes that allowed people like me to step behind them and pee. And openly, that was something that was sort of kind because a lot of people stand outside of a restaurant while they're waiting to get seated. And sometimes men have to do that. And there was a lot of beautiful birds that lived in those trees. But they tore them all out and left it a blank wall. I was sort of sad for that because they were marvelously good trees, but maybe they were diseased and I didn't know it. But again, I'm not a person who works there. But it did make that wall awfully bare. We have other companies like the Chili's today who is apparently in some way deciding to tear up their pavement. So I guess that means there won't be any business there for a while. Did they close? Hard to say. The O'Charlie's, which is one of my favorite restaurants back home, as a national chain because of its good food and its good value prices, has completely closed, but they've still got a little vagrant girl living in that space. And my concern for, of course, people in that place is what a stalker should become in some way. The liars of America are always here to stay, and sadly that's the case. I don't believe that too much was stolen from me last night, but who's to say? But someone has been pawing at me, someone has been putting their hands in my chest pockets, someone has been abusing me, and openly, I'd like to say, fuck you, motherfucker. You're a coward doing this without showing yourself. You don't even know yourself because you're still doing it. It's a vanity in you to think you have the right to do it, and it's a total vice for you because it's like giving you a high in some way. And no offense, but there are better vices out there like girls, not an old man.